Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerana.com, and this is a tutorial on how to upload your Lightroom presets and also your Lightroom adjustment brushes. And I'm also going to show you how to use them quickly. So over here you have your preset panel on the left side, and on your right side, if you click the brush and then go to Effect, and then you see this drop down menu, you click it down and you go down, those are where all of your brushes will be located. Now first we're going to go over on how to get them there. So to install your presets, what you would do is you would find, after you've downloaded your presets, you would go unzip your folder. You would unzip your presets and then select the folder, right click, and then go to copy. After you have them copied, you would go up here to edit. And if you're on a Mac, you would go to Lightroom and then go down to preferences. Here you will make sure this is not checked and then go to show Lightroom presets folder and then select the highlighted Lightroom folder and then go to develop presets. Here I already have them in there but you would right click and then paste. And then you would click off, press OK and then restart your Lightroom and your presets will be here in your preset folder. Um, you would select the folder click the drop down menu and then here's all the presets. Now you would do the same exact thing for the adjustment brushes except you would go back and select the brush one. Select copy, go up here to edit, preferences, same thing except here you would go to local adjustment presets and then you can write and then right click and then paste. Same exact thing, press OK, restart your Lightroom. There you'll have your presets here and then your brushes here. Once you have all of your presets and your brushes installed, you are free to use them. So here I'm going to reset this and go over quickly how to use your presets. Here is your all-in-one uh, presets that you can use, or you can go down to the more adjustable, um, you can stack. So I'm going to select all-in-one clean base. And here you can select layerable ones on top of there to adjust it more. So I want to recover highlights. If it's too much of something or not enough, you can always come over here to the sliders. If you select undo and then select it again and look to your right over here you can see which sliders are being moved and then if it's too much you can just slide it back a little another way you can do it is you can go to file and you can install a plugin extra called the fader and that will let you adjust the opacity. So you select the folder of the preset that you want to use and then you select the individual preset. So you cover highlight and then here you can adjust the opacity of it. And then press OK. And then you can just go back and forth and select all of the presets you want to use. And then if you want to add a brush, you would click the brush, and click down, click new, make sure it's a new in case you use multiple brushes, and then click down and select a brush that you want to use. Let's say I want to fix orange color cast. And go down, and here I can select the density of that brush. You can also select the size, and feather it, and the flow. You can also use the brackets on your keyboard. Now this is to remove orange color cast and then you can just paint on the effect. If you want to add, let's say you don't like that effect, you can right click this dot here and then delete. If you want to add a new brush, you would select new and then you can choose another one. The creamy soft. You 
again you can go down and select the density to change it and if you want to go back to working on your orange color cast or any other adjustment brush you're working on you can go back and click that dot if you want to see where you've brushed already you can go down here to show selected mask overlay and then you can see where you've brushed and if you need to erase some of it now to erase you would go down here to your brush and select erase here you can select your flow which will show how much you're going to erase. So if I want to erase it all, I would have it at 100. If I want to erase just a little bit, I would go down. Once you have it set, then you can erase it back. Just like that. Again, if you don't like it, you could either hit undo or right click to delete. Another thing you can do is you can select the dot that you're working on, let's say right here, you can change the brush. Obviously that's a horrible example, but you get what I did there. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Now if you're working in the presets and you want to hit reset, let's go back to select the dot you want to work on. Now let's say we want to reset this image. We would go down and hit reset, but it won't get rid of your brushes for you. So you just have to right click, delete, right click, delete. If you want to see a before and after, you can select done. And you can click this these little before and after views. And you can change it if you like. Different views. And there you go. That is how you use your brushes. Once you're done with your brushes, um, and you want to go back to your other menu, you just click brush again. I'm going to show you really quick on how to use the radio filter. Let's say you want a flare. You can select radio filter, select your dot, and then you can move it wherever you want. You can also adjust it completely, making it bigger or smaller. Move it, and again if you don't want it, you can hit undo or right click and delete and there you have it thank you so much for watching